Today's Ask Reddit post. What fetish did your ex have that did absolutely nothing for you? Oh boy, this is gonna be a good one. Let's get started. My wife is into tentacle hunting. It's not really my thing but I love her so I put on the, the squid monster costume. I don't know why but you two seem like a cute couple. It's BC they love each other and are put on tentacle costume for her. She wanted to be woken up with intercourse. But it did nothing for me because she always woke up first. Okay, look. I'd suck on your feet. I'd pee on you if that was your thing. But you want me to wake up earlier for you? Sorry, but that's too much. Sleep is my hobby. She liked to babba talk to my dick and blow on it while never on our whole relationship jacking me off or giving me head. IDK if that was her kink but yeah. It's not a turn on when someone starts talking to my penis and never actually does anything with it lol. I shall call him squishy and he shall be mine and he shall be my squishy. Come on. Squishy. Come on. Little squishy. I'm never going to be able to enjoy finding Nemo again. I'll enjoy it a whole lot more. She wanted me to slap her during intercourse. I just wasn't down for it. She liked being choked too. I did on occasion. But I just didn't feel comfortable doing. One time she wanted me to hold a knife to her throat. I definitely wasn't going to do that one. That was normal until the end WTF. Yeah seriously. A little rough is fine but a knife to the throat? Yikes. She really wanted me to know what penetration feels like and wanted to peg me. I just didn't have the courage to lay down and get piped. Always keeps me up at night. What does it actually feel like? I mean I put my finger up my ass but never had someone ram something into my ass. You are quite philosophical. Yeah that was pretty deep. But not deep enough. This made my day. I once dated a guy that told me he had a thing for waterboarding. As in. He had waterboarded his exes, with their consent. That's a nope from me. Bruh, was he a prison guard at Guantanamo Bay? Ah, that was my mistake. I see it now. He liked the idea of fooling around in public and almost getting caught. I like being in my apartment or hotels or places that it's totally normal and acceptable to bang. The anxiety of almost getting caught was a turn off to me. Yep. I also dated one of those guys. Had to be in the front window of the apartment, or in an alley, or in the mall. Did nothing for me. Sir, this is a hallmark store. Since I'm a teacher they like to act like a naughty student who needed to be punished. You probably don't realize how gross and duck that is as an actual teacher who works with teenagers daily. I hate when any of my SOS try to super intercoursalize my career. Sodom. I once had my so call me Mr. My last name in a sultry voice during foreplay and we had to have a conversation about how and why that's a huge turn off. She would absolutely quiver about having her eyes licked. I didn't know that ocular linctus was a thing until I dated her. Ocular linctus. Worst day at Hogwarts ever. It's ocular linctus, not ocular lincta. My girlfriend had a schoolgirl fetish but I was never comfortable in the dress. Okay Michael. I watched that episode last night lol. Telling me mid-orgasm that she wants to duck my best friend and that was all she wanted. And she thought about him while having intercourse with me. And x200b. Then she succeeded and I lost two people who were toxic in my life and I have never been better. That's not a fetish bro. That's a traumatic experience grimacing face. My girlfriend had this really weird fetish where she cheat on me with my best friend and roommate and not tell me until she left me for him. Don't mean to kink shame but was not down for that. Having lots of intercourse. It was with other people without my knowledge though so there is that. Capital F. My ex had a fetish for calling me mommy but it made me super uncomfortable and was a factor in our breakup. Damn that's so cringe. But I also find it cringe when girls want to say daddy, even though that one is normalized. I actually had to ask a woman to stop calling me daddy during intercourse. It was getting way too distracting because she just kept including it in everything she said and she was really into dirty talking. So every fifth word was daddy, 
She was confused when I asked her to stop because her ex had all but insisted she call him that in bed and she assumed most guys were really into it. If my hypothetical, physically impossible, GF called me daddy I would probably be so visually dumbfounded that she'd instantly realize it as a mistake. A fetish for black women. I'm a black woman so I guess it worked for me in the beginning until I found out mans would try to flirt with every black woman he met on the internet. That's the thing with fetishizing versus having a preference. When you fetishize a group of people, they become a preconceived set of biases in your head. It makes it hard to see them as a unique person, and consequently make it hard to value them as a unique individual as well. Yes exactly. I wouldn't have said fetish if I meant preference because that's different. I think they mainly pointed that out because, unfortunately, a lot of people I roll don't see fetishization as a bad thing. Because omg it just means they're into you stop complaining. Oh yes absolutely. I'm happy they pointed out the difference. I was just saying that their explanation is the reason why I called it a fetish instead of a preference. Public intercourse and gangbang. Both of these are so humiliating for me and just the fact that he would sometimes try to convince me to have intercourse in a very public place or have foursomes with only men was gross and scary. Glad this is over. Sounds accurate. Public intercourse is one thing cause you can at least move off somewhere semi-private but a gangbang is something else entirely. Also I doubt they are nearly as hot as they seem. Can confirm they are not. They're actually pretty dangerous. Being throat bucked until I vomited. Oh Jesus Christ. Jesus. Oh hell no don't call my name into this thread of heresy. Jesus. Satan take one for the team. Satan. Stop blaming me for the sins of people. It's not my fault Jesus turned water into wine. She had a fetish for blood. No joke. She gets turned on at the sight of blood. One time I badly scraped my knee. Told her about it and she asked me to send a pic. The next reply. She said she was soaking wet. Good thing I broke up with her before we could have intercourse. I don't want to excreting both blood and semen at the same time. I don't want to excreting both blood and semen at the same time. That takes about 5 dry wanks in a 4 hour period. Possibly the grimmest upvote ever given. My ex had a mud fetish. Like. When he was younger would go into like a bog and have intercourse with the mud. Where we lived. We didn't have any bogs as adults so he made enough chocolate pudding to fill the tub. He had me lay in the tub while he poured the pudding all over me and filled the tub almost all the way up. He then got on top of me and we had intercourse it wasn't bad really. The cleanup was a nightmare but the problem was I ended up getting a UT from it so I didn't let him do it again after that. I cringed physically as I read each sentence expecting the ending to be about some sort of yeast infection. But a UT was close enough haha. Yeah and it was like. A real bad UT turned into a kidney infection and I lost a kidney and was in the hospital for weeks. Not worth it. Oh duck duck duck. My bad. Not funny at all. Glad you survived that at least. But duck that duck that that sounds so painful rough. No no now looking back I mean. What the duck did I think was gonna happen lol. I can laugh about it now. I was young then it was like almost 20 years ago. Just lying there like a starfish. My ex gf always rolled her eyes when I once in a while moved her on top of me. She even rolled her eyes sometimes when I wanted to take her shirt and bra off. Cause she would have to put it on again afterwards. Eye rolling is the most of turning thing a girl has ever done during intercourse. And I'm glad she was the only one ever and that I got rid of her. Sounds like she just didn't feel anything. Or was intercausal. Maybe the case. She enjoyed intercourse. She just didn't want to be the one as to work for it. For her it was always about who dominates in the relationship and her being the active one would mean she was doing it for me and therefore she would be the dominated one. At least that's how it apparently was from her side. Teenagers. He was middle aged. Speaking for myself. I can explain how this happens to a middle aged man. And I'm not middle aged yet. But hear me out because I am not being creepy here. When I was a teen all I searched for was teen porn. I kept watching teen porn. And getting older with time. 
duh, dot. Was until I was mid twenties that I caught myself and realized I'm not a teen anymore and the date of births on this chicks was getting real weird. It's kinda rough watching a chick get ducked when you remember what the year she was born was like. The time kinda creeps up on you and no one really warns you about it. And if they did it probably fell on deaf ears. Those creepers that stay into teen porn either didn't catch themselves in time, or just didn't give a duck when they did realize that or they get the most shameful feeling after each wank and other ones on a no fap proselytizing the magical powers of giving up porn. One of my exes liked me to slap and tug on his balls. It didn't do much for me and honestly for the first 6 months I was too afraid to do much to them. My boyfriend likes this too. Not slapping them but like, tugging the poop out of them, as far as they could physically go, makes me so nervous, seems like it would hurt so bad. Tearing up her clothes, forcefully hold her down bent over or choke hold and explain to her how lucky she was to receive my seed, it grows stale after a while. She always wanted to tickle my nuts with a feather, so be it if it helped her get in the mood. But for me using the entire chicken was much more exciting. Had us in the first half. Calling him daddy while he called me a slut. I was never comfortable with it. I know some people are into this. And I'm not judging. But I was incredibly young and naive and just not into it. Also he got turned on when I cried. So you guys can figure out how that would be a problem. It was definitely in the realm of normal until that last sentence. Yikes. I looked through the comments but didn't find this already mentioned. I'm surprised. My ex and I had a horrible intercourse life and at the end we slept in different rooms and didn't have intercourse for over a year before I finally moved out. Back when he tried to have intercourse with me it never lasted long and he wasn't interested in pleasing me. What did he want? He wanted me to be asleep, not move, unconscious. He encouraged me to take drugs or drink so I would go to sleep and then he could do me or jerk it. Whatever. It's gross and weird for me. And it's not something I'm down for sorry. There is literally no pleasure in someone raping your sleeping body. I have a suspicion he was also trying to get me pregnant but I don't know if that was a fetish or him trying to trap me into a dying relationship. Correct me if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure that's just straight up rape if someone is physically incapable of consenting like if you're unconscious. This is a legitimate kink. But consent is key. As long as you have their consent beforehand. All is good. Bringing up the same argument over and over until we ended our engagement. Dodge a bullet. This particular fetish intensifies in marriage. Public intercourse. I'm very open minded. But I don't agree with involving possibly involving non-consenting parties in your intercourse life. I indulged him a couple of times when there was absolutely no chance of getting caught. But it did nothing for me. He also chucked a hissy fit when I didn't want to go to her intercourse club. When he finally wore me down, he ended up chickening out. Saru glad that's over. While our intercourse club would at least be consenting parties, I wouldn't be into something like that. But saying it removed the mentioned objection. Oh I meant the intercourse club thing as an additional thing. But I agree it's the best way to act out verism. I wasn't into the intercourse club idea for other reasons. We were into swinging too and I didn't like the idea of being put on the spot by people I wasn't attracted to. I understand no one pressures anyone to do anything. But I have a hard time saying no and just had a bad feeling I was gonna end up doing things I didn't want to. Wanting me to pretend I wasn't enjoying myself so he could be the one to teach me to enjoy intercourse. Ick. His fetish was mansplaining. Humiliating me every chance she got. Glad you got out that relationship. You don't know the half of it. Nearly 40 years later. I'm still paying her alimony. Some of my friends got livid when they learned that. Doesn't bother me. It's worth it not to have to live with her. How long were you married and in what state do you live? Most states have passed various forms of alimony reform in the last two decades which cap alimony unless the marriage was an extremely long one. Generally over 20 years. Arizona. Most draconian laws around. One huge problem was that community property didn't stop accumulating upon separation. 
Each month, my paycheck was half hers. They stalled as long as they could. Probably never would have happened if I hadn't quit my job. She wanted me to puke on her. Hard puss. Had an ex go down on me and when I came it felt amazing and really wet. I thought I came a lot in her mouth. Turned out it was her vomit. She loved using huge dildos. Not my thing. Just made it so hard for me to walk the next day. I laugh. Me and my boyfriend love each other very much. Which means I will squish his head between my thighs for him and he will piss for me. God why am I sharing this with people on reddit. Put this in your vows. Absolutely put this in your vows. Hell. Now I want this in my vows. Meanwhile. Everyone with weird fetish is just scrolling to see if they get called out. pre e e e much. They liked me. Some weird poop honestly. Bro she needs to seek Jesus immediately. She was into cucking. Never tried it which ended the relationship. She wanted to be cucked. No she wanted to have me cucked. She had this weird thing about humiliation she just got off on it. But I did not. Chee. Hear that? Sounds like a ricochet close by. People like different things. That's life. At least she was open about it and didn't just cheat behind their back. Unless that did happen. In which case that's very poopty. She was really into older men like 4050. We were 20. I'm gonna need her number. Strictly for research purposes. She wanted to poop on me. It's kinda intercoursey I guess when you're horny but after you orgasm you suddenly realize omg I've got poop on me. And it's just so gross. That would've made me insta limp. Face with tears of joy. My dick would've fallen through my body. He liked to be whipped on the back. Chest and dick with a metal chain he also had a huge fetish for Japanese schoolgirls. Specifically to be dominated by them and wanted to be called sensei. I just want to clarify that it wasn't a good healthy relationship by any means. He was emotionally abusive and I only went along with this stuff because I was a naive 16 year old. I met him when I was 14. And he was 4 years older than me so I wasn't really clued in as to what healthy relationships were supposed to be like. Biting. Normally I am more than happy with that. But he would do so unexpectedly. No warning. And hard enough that it would bruise or break skin. Oh and he would do like a shark. Shaking his head back and forth hard. And in usually the most sensitive places. That takes the fun out of it and set me on edge so much that I couldn't get off because I was always ready for the next bite. Biting is definitely something someone has to be ready for. If they don't have any idea when you'll bite then that takes out all the fun of stuff. Being told he had a small dick. This become quite funny if he didn't actually have a small dick. Adam. It's like three dicks stacked on top of one another. The only thing small about your penis is its name. Why did you name it Al? Because he could be his bodyguard. And it would be his long lost pal. One of my exes was into that daddy dom stuff. It did nothing for me but I didn't mind humoring it. She loved to be spanked over my knee while she orgasmed was okay. Didn't know any other women into that. Didn't know any other women into that. You frequent the wrong parts of the internet. D. Scrolling through this comment section makes me wonder if I'm really kinky or if a lot of redditors are just vanilla as hell. Why not both? Bro, you actually watched the whole video. I'd give you a high five if I was a human. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe for more great content. See you next time.